I have tried to play clean. I think even Kennel, Kennel uh, uh, here, I won't mention the name, but he even here in this unit, when I go out, I always feel that paper. And many people, Lieutenant Kennel, say, hey, but Peter, why do you feel these stupid things to go out? I want to stay clean. I'm a disciplined soul. That is when uh, on the 6th, uh, Kennel Kund was there as a witness. On the 7th, uh, I went for the mess test, Brigadier General Khadebe, as my witness is there, as written in detail about it, uh, under oath. It is, it's just strange that for a member who actually asks permission and who fills in forms and who maintains the system of the military, you are actually being charged with, uh, yo. That's um, what happens when you start pointing fingers at others. You say they do things. They will, they will come something, something. By the way, that. Were you being charged with conduct, pretty distant military discipline? It, it that sounds, witness it who says that I didn't ask permission, she, he was working under the influence of alcohol, Raymond Lins. That's one of the But it was common knowledge anyway on the college. But that's what I wanted to tell the IG that the discipline is the people get drunk on the college and they forget that they are instructors and students and they start now sleeping with students and giving them marks. You know, you can sleep with somebody, I imagine, if you don't have discipline, but one, it should be discreet, and number two, don't cause corruption of promoting somebody who doesn't deserve becomes a brigadier like the lady is a brigadier general. You know. What kind of people does she command in a battlefield where she doesn't know she got the rank in the bedroom? That is the problem. You see, so it's just, um, it's just very strange as well, because as a third party, I know that students and lecturers or course leaders are normally separated. There should be no fraternization whatsoever, whatsoever between them. But okay, um, I'm comfortable with that. Are there any other questions? Okay. I'd like to move to charge number six, sir, which is a contravention of section 19.2 of the MDC, which is disobeying a lawful command and orders. If I could disturb you just one thing. I ask also for some, you know, female voices. You know, the mother of this uh, department is a lady. She's going to see this DVD, by the way. How will she feel if she hears male voices only? Just ask any question. Throw a question to show that we are not a sexist organization. I'd just like to, for the record, state that it's not just um, males here. There are actually um, Two to three senior ladies. female officers, yes. there are male officers, <laughs> they, we are a good mix, they are... And they are happy with the way you, are, are, you, are, you are grilling me. Black wines, <laughs> they are blacks, we are whites, we are coloreds, we are all together, so there's no prejudice whatsoever. Thanks, I'd just like to put that in for the record as well. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'd like to move on to six charge if there are no, if there are no questions from okay. the rest of us. Um, on the 7th, you are apparently accused of not obeying a lawful command um, where Colonel Drost, acting commandant of Essa Army College, um, requested that you must furnish them with a letter of explanation. Um, could you relate to us basically what that letter of explanation was about what did they want you to explain? If I remember well, Colonel Dross was querying two or three things. One, he wanted to know whether the allegations made by Colonel Glennans and uh, Raymond Lins are true that I called him a racist. Uh, that was one thing, so he wanted it in writing. And I also loved the idea to put it in writing because I said if anything is written against me, I cannot respond verbally. I also must put it in writing. So he wanted that letter the following morning at 8 o'clock. He also wanted to know, if I remember well, already there was the issue of, so where were you yesterday? There was that issue. So he wanted to know also, I, I think the previous day, where I was, which is one of the two charges between six and seven, I can't recall. Uh, as far as I remember, that's what he wanted. So, in so far as the charge is concerned, is it's baseless because I did submit the letter. What I did, uh, because he said, give it to Raymond Lins in the morning. So I went to Kendall Lins, so I gave him a copy. But once again, our mascot is a J. Cole. When you're a J. Cole, you must always think. Uh, what if? So I imagine, because I could already see that uh, the colonel, that is Raymond Lynch, was inimical towards me. Uh, he could easily say I didn't give him. So what I did, I went again and asked, uh, she was a clerk. She's one of my witnesses, Mafa. I said, I gave a copy again. So I gave two copies of the thing I'm charged for. One to Mafa, one to Raymond Lynch. Uh, so the charge is baseless. I've got a witness attesting that I did give. That explanation in writing. General that would have actually brought me to my next question. I just wanted to find out whether you actually wrote one and was it oh, yes. was it actually received? Yes. Um, Colonel, if I then may ask you, are you aware um, that this letter that they wanted you to write, did that hold any relationship to an OC inquiry with regards to what was happening at the, at the college, or did it bear any relevance to a board of inquiry that was being held that you are aware of? 
Okay, maybe simplify that again, that question. Okay. Uh, oh, um, he, they, wanted, he basically wanted to know where I was. a letter from you, yeah. um, a letter of explanation. Now, okay, um, you say you've given them one, so I don't know where you, where you did not obey the order. Yeah. If, you, if you can prove that in a statement or through a signature, then obviously. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but what I'm trying to establish is I'm in, in the back of my mind, there's still this IG thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to establish whether the whether at that stage, um, on the seventh, when IG was completing their thing, was there a board of inquiry that had been launched by the officer commanding, or was there an officer commanding inquiry relating to this that this letter could have been requested from you to try and explain? Because I find it very strange that that IG finishes on the sixth. Um, you are charged on the 9th. Now, surely in between that, there must have either been an OC inquiry or an a board OC, inquiry. I don't know how to call it. Sometimes they mix the two, but there was an OC inquiry ordered by General Trost. I, that, that means, I think, on the 7th or 6th. And it's one of the reasons I think he explains himself he wanted to, uh, he wanted to see me. Uh, so I don't know, we are mixing two things, but in so far as what he said, I must submit to him in writing. He just wanted to know about the allegations against uh, uh, Colonel, uh, I'm supposed to have done against Colonel Clayton, that's one. He also wanted to know if I remember well, where I was, I think the previous day. I can't remember more details. So you were not at any stage warned that this might have legal implications or anything of that nature? No, I wasn't, but I had a suspicion myself that this thing was, was leading there. Right. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, it's just, it's just, I'm just trying to clarify in my mind here the relationship between a board of inquiry or an OC um, investigation and IG and the charge. It's, it's all mess. Um, if I may ask, have you received any documentation from the IG? Um, as from in terms, in terms of their report. Yeah, I've received something which they call their report, but I query it. I got it through the High Court about years later. If uh, I may ask... They dated the 6th of June. That was a question that, yeah. I, that, I, that I actually wanted to ask you. The 6th of June? Yes, and I'm rejecting it. Of 2001. It, of, of the same year I was charged in March the 9th. So I, I rejected it through the High Court and the High Court sided with me that it cannot be the report on, with, on whose basis I was charged the 3rd of March if it comes after I'm charged. So they actually cooked it up, and most of it is actually my own writing. They are returning uh, to me. Yeah, I'm just uh, as I said. So, so that was actually on the six, on the uh, the what of June did you say was was uh, dated, sir? You mean uh, it did? I, if I remember well, but definitely June thirtieth, right about the thirtieth, twenty to thirtieth June, okay, uh, two thousand and one. <laughs> But I didn't receive it then, I received it in about 2005. And was there anything in that report relating um, in terms of recommending that legal action be taken against you or...? Um, yes, in that report, if I remember well, it also includes now the OC's uh, investigation that General Trost did himself immediately after uh, General Mashwala concluded he had concluded his work on the 6th. He did his own little thing they called an OCC investigation. Okay, just to confirm this, yeah. I just want to get this right. IG finishes on the 7th. You let's call it the 6th. On the 6th. Yeah. They do not take a statement from you. No, never. You are charged on the 9th. Yes. But between the 6th and the 9th, there's another mini OCC investigation now done by which General is, Trost Which has not college. been recommended by IG. No, not, not as far as I know. But... General Stain, because I went till to the general of the formation. It was then General Stain. I went to him and said, what's going on? He said, General Mashara had been to his office, but he, he refused to give me a statement, General Stain, to say the troublemaker is Piri. Piri must be charged. So, but there was nothing from, but I do know that even from statements written by General Dross on comments through the high court, high court, he was commenting to Colonel White to say, yeah, this is the troublemaker period we talked about. It's there in his own right hand. I know they were liaising about me with the IG, but they never called me. I, don't, I still don't have a, any paper written where they commit them that I should be charged. Because obviously, General Mashwara doesn't <laughs> want to be seen to be the man who crucified me in defending a, a General, now General Bobelo, now if she was a major then. So these people are trying to silence a whistleblower, and so I've got these charges hanging over me for 10 years. Yeah, it's, as, as I said, I mean, they finish on the 6th, you get charged on the 9th, yet the report only comes out 
Two, and, and the two saddest, months later, the, in which they recommend that you charge yes. for which you've really been charged. And the saddest thing just, is they've still sense. got a judge, a senior military judge, who's prepared to play the game they played. There were three other uh, uh, judges who sat in my case, some of them took pension. They all sided with me that this case can't continue until Piri gets the IG's report. Then they got another guy, I think they bought him. He said there's a judge, that's why I went to the High Court, and the High Court said, Piri, that man should stop it told the minister it can't continue until you give it. But the problem now, as I said earlier, <laughs> I'm sitting to, 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 into pension with this. Okay, Colonel, if there are no further questions... No, uh, did, they, did, did they say, did they, they, they explain to you why did they stop your, 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 your court martial case? Uh, I stopped it myself. I went and pleaded with a judge of the High Court. I said that thing should be stopped pending that I should receive those statements can I claim answer whoever else is supposed to have talked to the to the IG uh, General Mashwala? I receive and hear what they say uh, because I cannot understand how, how this is. So the ICO agreed with me and said that thing should be stopped until I get it. Now the my employer says to me, Peter, you cannot ask to go on courses because our courses were closed as well. You cannot be promoted because you are refusing to answer to the allegations. I'm saying I can answer. I've got general standing on my side, but I cannot bless. Uh, the process which is flawed, where people are charged without the port of inquiry on which it's based. That is why I was stuck with it. That's why I'm appealing to, to the minister mm -hmm. and my commander in chief to help me remove this charge. If I don't get a pleasure there from my employer, I'll go again to the High Court to ask them to remove these charges. As I, yeah, as I said, did you communicate to the uh, military law officers to tell you now uh, where, where do you stand with your, your, your court martial case? Um, well, I, 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 it, it is still standing. I, I didn't need to inquire about that. I think I'm clear. Once you plead, that case cannot go away. It has started. So it's standing because, remember, it is the, the High Court that said they must end. I'm going at the end of this month or the beginning of next month, November, to the High Court again, again with the Minister of Defense, where the Minister has appealed because two or three times already the High Court sided with me against the Minister of Defense and you, you haven't. But the Minister appealed. So there's going to sit three judges at the beginning of November uh, to, to hear that appeal. Because from uh, my, 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 my knowledge, this gentleman, uh, M. Borman, acting prosecutor of cancer major, he could have given you the board of inquiry, the preliminary investigation, the IG's report mm -hmm. before that. Before, but... And, give you an, and the date of the... They trial. never gave me, they only gave me some of the documents through power of the High Court. So you can see the whole thing is cooked. Uh, it's not healthy. I believe the High Court will easily dismiss that, but before, I thought before I asked the High Court to do that, I must answer to some of these allegations. In fairness, one day, if there's a recommendation either from the minister or from the president to say, give Piri a rank, say a big gen's rank or whatever, they will ask officers like yourselves to sit down and make a recommendation. And then you'll be looking at these charges and say, but this guy looks like, oh, that is Krufu, which is not like, it's got a loose crew. How can he be saying this? So I thought I must answer to these charges, at least, even though it's not in the military court, because the military court will never give me the chance. I'll go to the grave before I answer in the military court, the, 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 what you call, or the high court will dismiss this thing, because it, it doesn't have a uh, leg to stand on.